Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, this topic is CPLD that is complex PLD. In the earlier video, we have discussed what is PLD, what is the necessity of PLD and so on. What we have discussed, earlier we were using uh, from then PLA, then PAL and so on. But everything, every technology is having certain limitations. So all such things that is uh, PROM, then PLA and uh, PAL can be combined together to form SPLD that is Simple Programmable Logic Device. But if the application is complicated, then depending on the requirement, many times it is required to make use of number of SPLDs in a single IC package that is called complex PLD. So in a very simplified manner, complex PLD consists of n number of simple PLDs. Now from the exam point of view, we may expect the question like this. What is the necessity of CPLD and draw the architecture of CPLD, draw and explain the architecture of CPLD along with the a concept of macro cells and so on. All these things we will discuss in today's session. So this is the architectural diagram of CPLD. Before that, as I mentioned, we have already discussed the necessity of uh, PLDs. Same things are applicable for CPLDs. Make the thing simple. In the complicated applications, it is required to have many logical devices in a single chip that is CPLD, complex PLD. So this is the architecture diagram of uh, uh, CPLD. I have drawn a simplified version. Consider a logical block. This logical block is also called a functional block. Each functional block, each logical block consists of number of PLDs. Each PLD is called a macro cell. So there are n number of macro cells in a single logical or functional blocks. And again, as shown in this diagram, uh, I have uh, shown four logical blocks. It depends on the uh, type of CPLD. So different logical blocks are used. All these logical blocks, all these functional blocks are interconnected with each other. This interconnection is not shown in this diagram just to avoid the complexity. Then a switching matrix is used. As the name indicates, it is used to perform the switching actions from one functional block to another functional blocks. At both ends, I have shown the connections for, for input and output devices. So as the name indicates, we can connect n number of inputs and n number of outputs to this particular CPLD. So it is basically integrated SPLD that is simple programmable logic devices on a single chip. That's what I mentioned, uh, I explained just now. Then it is erasable PLD programmed with VHDL. It is based on EEPROM and EEPROM uh, technologies. It consists of several PLDs. Each PLD is called macro cells. So n number of macro cells are used in one of uh, functional blocks. And all these macro cells are internally connected. The micro, macro cell basically consists of array of AND and OR gates. So it consists of logical arrays, then product term uh, selection matrix. It also consists of a flip-flops. Flip-flops are used to store the data. We are going to detail mein learn karne wale AND or OR gate use. Kar rahe. OR gate is output to connect flip-flop. Ko connect karte. So flip-flop is used to store the data and uh, the microcell also makes use of MUX that is multiplexer. Now the features, so this is about the generalized uh, architecture of uh, CPLD. Now features of CPLD, this device is reprogrammable, then it is having high performance. It has non-volatile configurable memory. It has a built-in processor which can be used to perform arithmetic and logical operations. Then it shows in-system programmability, means you don't have to, if you want to reprogram the device, you don't have to disconnect it, then reprogramming it and then reconnect it in uh, again. It is not required. So even if it is connected in the system, it can be, uh, I mean, programmed. Then it can be inserted or removed into the working system. Even if uh, you are using it for one particular application, it is in the working condition, then also 
इट कैन बी इंसर्टेड और इट कैन बी रिमूव नाउ स्पेसिफिकेशन देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सी पी एल डी सो दिस इज द लिस्ट ऑफ जनरलाइज स्पेसिफिकेशन यूज टू सिलेक्ट अ पर्टिकुलर सी पी एल डी सो नंबर ऑफ मैक्रो सेल्स यूज इन दैट पर्टिकुलर सी पी एल डी एज वी डिस्कस मैक्रो सेल मीन्स पी एल डी देन नंबर ऑफ सिस्टम गेट्स दैट इज द नंबर ऑफ लॉजिकल गेट्स दैट आर यूज then number of product terms that can be managed by that particular cpld then number of shift registers which are used in cpld internal frequency this internal frequency basically decides the speed of operation of that particular device then number of input output ports that can be connected then operating temperature then external clock how many uh, external clocks can be connected to this particular device and number of pins that are available for this package so this is the generalized architecture of cpld the next part is macro cell of cpld so this diagram is a simplified version of or you can say simplified uh, architecture of a macro cell we have discussed the generalized block diagram in which we have discussed Uh, a functional block consists of n number of macro cells so this is the diagram simplified diagram of a macro cell used in the cpld all the functional blocks are internally connected so these are the connections to other functional block this is the diagram of one block then macro cells are also interconnected so these are the interconnecting wires now So the different lines are as shown in figure. This consists of the structure which is having n number of logical AND gates. These are the logical AND gates. I have shown three AND gates. Actually, this dotted line indicates this dotted line indicates n number of AND gates are used depending on the type of CPLD that you are choosing. Then it has a fixed OR gate. So outputs of all logical AND gates is applied to the fixed OR gate. the output of logical or gate which is a fixed or gate is given to one of the inputs of xor gate exclusive or gate the another input of xor gate is logic 1 or logic 0 then the output of xor gate is given to the flip flop it is a clocked flip flop because we are applying a clock signal from this end then the output of flip flop is given to the marks and a buffer so it consists of and arrays that means n number of logical and gates are used this is called and arrays jaise maine bataya is diagram mein sirf teen and gates dikha hai aise there can be n number of and gates so then uh, it consists of and arrays input to this and arrays is from the input output block and some other functional blocks matlab ek functional block discuss kar rahe hain hum log so input to this array of uh, and gates is from either input output blocks or it can be uh, from the different functional blocks then macro cell has arithmetic logical unit this we have already uh, discussed then to control the product term jaise ye and gates ka jo output hai that means the product there are n number of product terms depending on the number of logical and gates you are using in an array so to properly control this output that means to control the product terms product term allocator is used this block product term allocator is not shown in this uh, diagram just to simplify the things so product term allocator is a block which is used to control the output of logical and gates each macro cell can be individually configured means there are n number of macro cells in one uh, functional block but each can be configured depending on the requirement this uh, block also has a global set or reset uh, terminals as the name indicates we can set the particular block go globally or we can reset it using this uh, connection using this terminal the another input to this xor gate jaise maine bataya ये सब प्रोडक्ट टर्म्स जो है वो एंड गेट का आउटपुट जो है वो अप्लाई करेंगे और गेट को आउटपुट ऑफ और गेट इज अप्लाइड एज वन ऑफ द इनपुट्स टू एक्स और गेट अनदर इनपुट टू एक्स और गेट इज आइर लॉजिक जीरो और लॉजिक वन इफ इट इज लॉजिक वन देन इट कॉम्प्लीमेंट्स इट इनवर्ट्स द आउटपुट ऑफ और गेट इफ इट इज लॉजिक जीरो देन द आउटपुट ऑफ और गेट रिमेन्स एज इट इज देन 
the flip flops as shown in this diagram these are the clock flip flops flip flops are used to store the data in simplified language uh, output of or gate and xor gate is applied to the flip flop so flip flops are used to store the output of or gate depending on 1 and 0 this output can be either as it is or it can be inverted so this output is stored by using the uh, flip flops rather clock flip flops then Tri-state buffer. This block is multiplexer. We know the usual working of uh, multiplexer. Next is tri-state buffer. So this tri-state buffer is basically acting as a switch. So this is the simplified or generalized version of a macro cell used in CPLD. Next part is CPLD programming technologies. That means what are the different technologies that are used uh, in order to program uh, using in order to perform programming part using CPLD. So three major categories are there. One is floating gate technology. Second is in system programmable technology. And third is in system reprogrammable technology. As far as this floating gate technology is concerned, again three different categories are there. One is making use of ultraviolet EEPROM. Then another second is EE prom that is electrically erasable prom then third is flash memory in case of in system programmable technology again there are two types one is EE prom and second is flash memory whereas in system reprogrammable uh, technology makes use of flash memory technology so this is about the uh, CPLD programming technologies. Now applications of CPLD so I have listed few important applications of CPLD First, prototyping for small uh, logical gate arrays. Next, to implement graphic controllers, then LAN controllers and so on. Next, it can be used as a bootloader. Next, it can be used as a memory element. And last, it can be used as an address decoders. So, this is about the complex programmable logic devices. So, dear students, that's it for today's session. So, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this video.